Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at who or what you can expect in regards to love. As always, these are meant to be general love readings, so they will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Uh, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance for you. Um, I have all the playlists for each sign linked in the description box so you can access those. Uh, so let's jump right into the reading for Sagittarius. Spirits, angels, guides. What guidance messages do you have for Sagittarius? Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio or someone with Scorpio in their chart. Uh, because while I was talking in the, in the intro, I just kept wanting to say Scorpio. So let's see. For Sagittarius, what do they need to know, Spirit, in regards to love? Okay, what can you expect in love? Page of Wands, King of Pentacles, Reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Um, interesting. So Page of Wands is the beginning of something, the um, taking initiative, the first steps towards something new. So we'll have to see what that's about. This could be a message from someone, someone asking you out or something like that. But the King of Pentacles, Reverse, they can't really commit or don't have much to give. Um, some King of Pentacles reverse could also be somebody that's not doing well financially. So we'll have to clarify and see what that's all about. Okay, past energies or anything influencing what is coming your way. The Devil, Capricorn, Energy, and the Five of Cups. So there's been some sort of um, disappointment regarding um, an attachment or there could be regrets that someone's having. Um, someone could be dealing with uh, some sort of toxic energies, a toxic environment, and it's affecting, you know, this King of Pentacles reverse. It's interesting because what I'm picking up here with the Devil and the Five of Cups is that this could have been recent. So like a recent disappointment or a recent regret that someone's having. So one, of, one of you could already be in stuck or feeling stuck, feeling restricted. Okay, what do we need to know about your energy, Sagittarius? We have the Three of Cups and the Emperor, Aries energy. Okay, and what about their energies? Ace of Pentacles, nice. Ugh, Seven of Swords, Reverse, what's going on? These two are like opposite energies, Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, Reverse. Like, they typically don't go together. The Seven of Pentacles, Reverse is like someone gets caught or found out uh, or something doesn't go to plan, um, according to plan. So I don't know what's going on there. And this Three of Cups is making me nervous when I see the Seven of Pentacles, uh, Seven of Swords reverse. I don't know what's going on with me, guys. I can't talk today. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you need to know that you don't know? Any hidden factors? Four of Swords reverse and the Hermit. So I'm getting like um, um, Virgo and what is it with all the Earth? Okay, anyways. So I'm getting here that someone could be uh, extremely withdrawn, ghosted possibly, um, feels very far away, very quiet, not really communicating with the Four of Swords Reverse and the Hermit. So I feel like there's something that probably someone's not saying. Okay, and where is all this headed in the near future? Page of Pentacles Reverse and the Knight of Wands Reverse. So I don't really see this going anywhere great just from these initial energies. I'm getting the sense that something is not starting. It's just it's not quite there yet. It's not on solid footing. It's not on, you know, whatever this is with the Page of Pentacles, this Ace of Pentacles, perhaps, that someone could be offering you here. It's just is not able to get started. Okay, why is everything happening? What's the overall energy for the reading? Ace of Swords, reverse. Okay, well then there's something going on here. Yeah, and then the moon right after that. Pisces energy. Secrets, lies. There's something going on here, Sagittarius. What the hell is going on? I don't like this energy. <laughs> I just picked up the deck and there's a high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So I get the sense that this is a situation where there are secrets or lies or something that you, you're just not aware of. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. What, what can you tell us, Spirit? Clarity, insight, please, on these energies for Sagittarius. Let's start with this Ace of Swords reverse. What can you tell me about the Ace of Swords reverse? Why is the Ace of Swords reverse here? Three of Wands. 
Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Maybe you've been waiting for the truth. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something, okay. So basically there's something tied to this offer that it's like it's not the complete truth or there's more to it than meets the eye. Someone could be um, deceiving you about their, um, uh, about a commitment or about their, well, what, how am I trying to say this? Them wanting to be in a commitment, they're being deceptive about that. Sorry, Sagittarius. I don't I can't find the words today. Uh, Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this has been a burden on this connection. Some of you, I feel like um, there's more than one person here. And I, I, I'm trying to figure out if it's like a person that you're currently dealing with and a new person coming in, or if there's a third party that already exists. <clears throat> I feel like all of these cards together, the Three of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Hierophant would be someone waiting for commitment. Someone waiting for an offer that leads to commitment. However, it's clarifying the Ace of Swords reverse. So there's some sort of deception there, some sort of lack of clarity there. If someone has promised you commitment, I just don't see that being the truth. Or I see there being more uh, attached to that than you know. Someone could also be telling you something about a commitment, something regarding like, wait for me to get something settled or something like that. But there's, they're not telling you everything. Okay, I got one more for the Ace of Swords reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Queen of Swords, yeah. I feel like someone's gonna find this out or realize this, because the Queen of Swords, you can't lie to the Queen of Swords. She knows. She reads between the lines. She's very astute. She's very perceptive. She doesn't take any BS. She is extremely analytical and intelligent and logical and cuts right through the, the BS, basically. So I feel like this, this is someone that is realizing the truth or figuring out the truth. So what's this? Hold on. Hold on. What's this page of wands about? Why is the page of wands here? Why is the page of wands here? The moon. Hmm. Yeah, ten of wands. I feel like there's um. Whatever is not clear, I feel like something started, but there's there has never been real clarity. Or someone could have shown interest in you or vice versa, there's probably a chemistry there. But th there's, there's just not a lot of clarity about that. I'm also getting that someone could be telling you something, but leaving parts out. Because I don't trust this King of Pentacles reverse. Something about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, someone has doubts um, because there's, things are not clear. There's doubts, confusion. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles reverse? King of Swords. Why is the King of Pentacles reverse? I'm almost picking up that you are this King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Swords, and then the Nine of Pentacles. There's something happening here where it's like you're getting clarity or getting the truth or there's some sort of co communication that's coming in or information that's coming in. Excuse me, I just have to yawn, which is weird. It's the middle of the day. <laughs> I think someone's just tired. This has been tiring for someone. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? 
Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Death and the Eight of Cups. Okay. Being free of something. Someone's being free of a situation. Death, Scorpio energy, Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. All these three together, I'm thinking someone being free or leaving something by themselves. Like they're just leaving on their own. And I think the truth is helping someone make some sort of move or ending here. I don't know. I'm getting the, the sense that whatever this Ace of Swords, King of Swords is, it's not good. It's like, it's like, okay, great. Now I know the truth. Glad that I know it. I don't want to stay here anymore. Like something like that. Yeah, someone I feel knows they've been deceived. You've been deceived or you feel like you've been lied to. Um, maybe they didn't really lie to you directly, but lied to you by omission um, or vice versa. Maybe you weren't truthful with someone. You know, take it as it resonates. Tell me about the devil and the five of cups. I think that this has just been um, disappoint disappointing from the get go. Whatever this connection was. Tell me about the devil and the five of cups. Tell me about the devil and the five of cups. The star and the ace of wands. Okay, Aquarius energy with the star. Tell me about the devil and the five of cups. Why is the devil here with the five of cups? Eight of swords. Yeah, I feel like um, someone's really thought a lot about this. Maybe whatever this was, um, if whether this is you or the person you're dealing with, Sagittarius, you felt stuck, restricted, but you still had hope. You were, you had hope for a new beginning. You had hope for success, hope for an offer of future. Look at all this energy. Six of wands, page of pentacles, the magician, page of cups, knight of cups, two of cups and the sun. I mean, I could keep going here. Uh, I feel like someone, this is what they really desired, what they planned for, what they thought they were going to get. Maybe it started off really, really good. Maybe this had potential from the beginning to be something amazing. And I feel like it just ended up in disappointment. Let's get your energies here. Spirit, can we get some insight into the energies between Sagittarius and this other person that they are or have been or will be dealing with? Insight, please. Into the energies between Sagittarius and this other person. Tell me about Sagittarius. What do we need to know? about Sagittarius what do we need to know falling leaves and second chances you're being given a second chance time changes everything so yeah um, okay so you're probably focused on what else is out there or possibly want a second chance with another person I have a feeling that this over like the longer that you've been in a connection the more over it you are or the more you are thinking about another path but i feel some of you might feel some sort of attachment to someone or are stuck somewhere tell me about the person that sagittarius is has or will be dealing with tell me about the person that sagittarius is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know for sagittarius okay we have victory lap what else what else for this person that sagittarius is or has restoring balance and bountiful harvest so this person is hoping for things you know it could be that this second chance is, is this person wanting a second chance and you feel like time has is too much time has passed nothing has changed or you you need a change i feel like this person is hoping that things are the balance is restored that harmony and stability come back to this connection that they are successful 
But I don't know. I feel like you're not on the same page with this person. Why? Why do I feel that way? Maybe because of the Ace of Swords reverse and this Queen of Swords. Because I feel like someone's very like cold about this. There's someone here breaking free and doing things solo and walking away and ending something. So I'm wondering if that's you, Sagittarius. Tell me about the Three of Cups. What's this Three of Cups about? Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Three Tens. Tens are all about completion, cycles. Some of you could have been in a long-term commitment. Others of you could have had an interference that was a long-term commitment. I feel like there's some change that has happened here with the Wheel of Fortune. Like, you know, things are things have changed for you. But why? Tell me about the Emperor. What can you tell me about the Emperor? Why is the Emperor here? Yeah, Five of Swords. So I feel like what's happened is this Five of Swords. Um, someone feels that they've been taken advantage of, deceived. Things haven't been fair to them. And this emperor, yeah, you're moving on, ready to take some sort of action, moving forward, leaving all of this behind, cancer energy. You have every water sign, major arcana on the board, the chariot, um, death, and the moon, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a water sign. I also see a lot of earth here. You got Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn here. You don't have to be dealing with those signs. It's just, you know, that's what I'm making note of here. So I feel like something has changed for you. And if this has been an ongoing theme for Sagittarius. If this re reading is resonating for you, you might want to check the one that I just did previous to this. Where you felt like your only option was to make a, a decision that led to an ending or a change in your life. I think this is a continuation of that reading. But here I'm getting that you're still in this situation. And I feel it's because there's some sort of burden or attachment here. You could be married to this person or just feel responsible for this person or maybe you have financial ties. It's not so easy. Okay, tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. What's this? Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. What do we need to know about the Seven of Swords reverse? Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. This person's worried. Yeah, they're worried. They're having regrets because they screwed up. They, they know they've screwed up. This person, they were caught red-handed. And now they're coming in with this big offer, hoping that that's enough. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? The Hermit. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Two of Cups, yeah. I feel this person could even be trying to um, get into your person. Uh, this is going to sound really weird, but for some reason I cannot get my words to make sense today so just bear with me Sagittarius but it's almost like this person when I see the hermit and I see the ace of pentacles it's like they're trying to get back into your circle or your personal space like like they're trying to get back into your it sounds very creepy but it's almost like they're trying to get back into your good graces but not just your good graces like back in your life your private life I feel like you maybe you've detached yourself from this person or put up a boundary. And there's no closeness anymore. And um, maybe you block this person or something like that. And I think this person's hoping that this Ace of Pentacles lets them come back in or something. Or like, um, like maybe they are able to change your mind. Yeah, King of Pentacles. See, now they're showing up as a King of Pentacles upright because they want to get what they want here with the Nine of Cups, but the High Priestess is still here with the Three of Cups. So maybe this person had another, had like a, a person on the side 
uh, maybe it was a friend, a coworker that they told you maybe that it wasn't serious or it wasn't a big deal or there was nothing to worry about. There was something to worry about there. This person, if you're in that situation, Sagittarius, where this person told you, don't worry about them, nothing happened, they, that's a lie. Um, they're still not telling you everything about that. And they're definitely not going to tell you now. Once you put up a boundary, and this is just the energy I'm picking up. Once you put up a boundary with this person, they're not going to risk losing you completely by telling you the truth. I want to say that again. <laughs> they're not going to risk losing you completely by telling you the truth. I think some of you already know that. That you're never going to get the truth from this person and that maybe this person has made you feel like you've been crazy this whole time and i think that's also caused you to not just be you know frustrated and sad but angry like you're actually like i'm picking up you're this queen of swords this emperor energy no emotion here with these two it's like you there's no emotion here king of swords ace of swords queen of swords Emperor, they, they don't they they don't deal with things emotionally. So what do you need to know that you don't know? This person's gonna act like they have something to give you, something to offer, but I think this is this could be an illusion because they're acting out of fear. They you know they're worried, they're anxious, and I want to give them the benefit of the doubt, but they were already found out. This is someone that you already know that something is up with them, Sagittarius. And events could have already transpired or are on their way to, to cement that for you, to really show you that. Like it's only a matter of time before you find them out or, you know, they're being caught red-handed here. Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords reverse? Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. King of Wands. Can I get one more? Seven of Swords reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? You know, this Knight of Wands reverse makes me nervous. Okay, so we have the King of Cups, King of Wands. I think this person really feels bad. Um, you know, even though they have a goal in mind and they're really trying to appear as a king here, they might have learned their lesson, you know. But if that's the case, why are you still hiding stuff? I think this person, they have genuine feelings for you, genuine attraction towards you. But um, I don't think that they're being truthful. You can be both. You can really, you can love someone all you want, but that doesn't mean that you're completely honest. And it's, you know, there, you could be both. And there's something about this energy that I'm just not, I'm not loving it, you know? <laughs> Let's move on to the Four of Swords reverse and the Hermit. What do we need to know, Spirit? about the Four of Swords reverse and the Hermit. What I was saying earlier, the Knight of Wands reverse is typically someone that's a player, cheating or doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Okay, tell me more about the Four of Swords reverse and the Hermit. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. If this person is apart from you, the, all they're thinking about is getting back together with you, making this happen. This is all they can think about. Knight of Pentacles, the world, the Page of Pentacles. It's almost like they're giving you what exactly what you've been wanting all along or exactly what they promised all along. Except now they're coming to you from a place where they've lost their footing. I'm like picturing, I don't know, it's like, it's like maybe you have this person at a pedestal or a certain level because you trusted them but now that they've lost your trust you know they've 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 been knocked down a few pegs so i feel like they're coming to you from a place of like um like a tail beneath their legs you know they're they're they've been humbled basically So where's all of this headed? I'm kind of nervous because we have the Page of Pentacles here. Great, fabulous. But, and where all of this headed, the Page of Pentacles is reversed. The Knight of Wands is reversed. What can you tell us about this Page of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Wands 
reverse for Sagittarius. Can you tell us about the Page of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Wands reverse? Queen of Wands, Four of Wands. One more, please, for this Page of Pentacles reverse. Judgment. I was waiting for something like that. High Priestess again, Ace of Cups. You see what I, I was saying earlier? I feel like this person has a lot of emotions and love for you with the Ace of Cups, but they're not being completely honest. And it, again, that Three of Cups shows up. There's secrets here. And then I have judgment. So it's almost like there's a realization that you might be having here, an awakening that you might be having here. They could be wanting a second chance, but I would be very careful about that. Some of you, you share an apartment, a house with this person. They don't want to move out. Yeah, I feel like you are checked out. Four of Cups. Tell me more, please. About this judgment energy. What do we need to know about judgment? Nine of Wands. And then the High Priestess again. It's the same, same stuff here. There you are, Sagittarius with Temperance. I don't know. And it's interesting um, that the Knight of Swords didn't come out. Page of Swords didn't come out. Knight of Cups is there as well. Justice is in there. I mean, I'm trying to look at all these beautiful cards that are still in this deck. Page of Cups. I have a feeling that this person... They may have waited too long to do something. Um, yeah, they may have waited too long to do something. I feel like there, it's like drama and conflict kind of um, it got in the way instead. So for example, if this was a connection that had a lot of potential for you, Sagittarius, maybe things started off great and maybe there was this um, consensus that you have with this person about commitment, making things official, moving you know, into a different stage in your relationship. Um, maybe they promised to take care of a certain issue that was you know, prevalent early in your relationship and you waited for that to happen, but what you got instead was drama and conflict rather than what you were promised. So when this person finally brings you what it is that you've been wanting or asking of them, too much time has passed. Now you've changed your mind or you want something different or you're just no longer, you know, you don't trust that this person can deliver. And I feel like for a while there, you still had hope that things could turn around. I really feel like you could have even tried working things out with this person, but you can't really work things out with someone that doesn't want to also meet you halfway, which I feel is what's happening here. I feel like this is someone that, you know, they, they can't just be completely open with you. They can't just be completely truthful. They, they, they still are focused on perhaps not giving up everything. And I, you know, sometimes in connection, you can't really do that. Because I really do feel like this person could be coming to you asking for a second chance, asking for a, another try or, you know, asking for forgiveness, even though I don't really see that here. You know, I see page of pentacles, page of wands, ace of pentacles, ace of wands. Um, but I don't see like genuine, honest, truthful communication or offers coming from this person, right? I don't see a page of swords or a knight of swords, page of cups or a knight of cups. I don't really see that. I feel like this person is more focused on something more tangible, more material. Um, almost like, you know, maybe they're giving you money or giving you a promise for, you know, something substantial. Um, because they're focused, I think this person's focused on losing something of value. That should be you, but it's not. <laughs> Something else. And I feel like some of you are, might, might be dealing with a person who you share a living space with this person and they don't want to lose that. 
or you share, you know, maybe this person can have a certain lifestyle because you're together, or this person has things easy because you're together in a certain way. I really hope this person has a job. Anyways, let me not get into that. Basically, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing that you've, you've basically at the end of your rope. I think you're at, you know, 10 of pentacles, 10 of wands, wheel of fortune. You already wanted the, you know i think you gave enough time for things to improve and since they didn't you are ready to say i did all i could you know i want to look at this three of cups again can i get some more insight into this three of cups this does not necessarily have to be someone that your partner cheated on you with um it could be also a family member that got in the way a friend an ex-partner because i feel like this was someone that affected your connection tell me about this three of cups what do we need to know about this three of cups what do we need to know about it? six of cups ten of cups ten of swords seven of cups nine of cups okay interesting this is um okay this i feel like this is um for some of you, okay, I got, I'm getting two messages. Hold on. Some of you are dealing with a, a family situation. So there's something to do with in-laws or brothers or sisters or something like that. Um, it, 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 it's it been a 10 of wands, 10 of cups. Um, I mean, yeah, 10 of wands, 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles. So I feel like there's been um, a long time that you've been within a group of people, a family something like that you could be married to this person for example and there's just been collecting issues like you've been you know there's been issues that have been kind of adding up throughout your connection i feel like some of you could have children with this person and that is a big problem this person could be using that um in your conversations you know think of this think of that think of you know the other but again look at these tens i feel like you are already You've thought about this enough. You know, Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups, the Chariot is here. I think you're just ready to go. Some of you are worried about finances, but I feel like you're just ready to go. And I think you were thinking about it, planning for it, and then you're going to start possibly making it happen. Of course, if this isn't you doing all of this, you can flip it. Sagittarius, but that's just what I'm seeing so far. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.